hear some stories of um, guys who contributed 200 our jacko police you know mm-hmm. like my 200 why, why can't i see it just yeah. putting the guys <laughs> when you come at to keep by keep as i had committed i have come back to keep my word mm. so i think there's no pressure you if you your party you're removing your own diary hey hey when you were growing up did your mom give you everything you wanted she did her best not everything mm. so not everything. there's something she said no to yes yeah. why Aha, because she could not afford them. That's it. Hello, Waidaka here. Hey, Nancy here. Hi, my name is Wawesh. Guess who's back? It's Ruby. Yes, welcome to episode two. <laughs> Wait, did you guys watch episode one? No, 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 no. If you haven't watched episode one, please go back. Watch episode one so that you can come and now connect this conversation. Karibu sana to episode two. Today, guys, we're talking about black tax. Black okay, tax. Okay. Let me see the expressions on your face. <laughs> we are still caught on guess who's bad. Who's <laughs> <laughs> okay. bad? Hey, hey, anyway, sorry, sorry. Yes. Sorry, guys. Yeah, we're black. Okay. Black yeah. tax. I don't like that term. Okay. Why? It carries so much negativity. It's first of all, black is always why is it black and not any other color? Yeah. And then yeah. green tax. Yes, and then it's uh, tax, which is also one of those things everyone just hates. So I think I've always talked about it. I, I say one of our strengths as Africans is mm-hmm. that we support one another. So I don't consider it a tax. Let's support one another. That's yes. But if you want to call it black tax for the sake of those who might understand it that way, it's our. Well, I think it becomes black tax when it's forced, when you're not comfortable with it. I think that's why guys refer to it as black tax. You know, like it's, it's okay to help and I'm with you with that car, but I think uh, whoever named <coughs> it black tax named it so because um, it's something that we blacks do, we Africans especially, and sometimes it's abused. So when the abuse comes in, it's yeah, I actually think it came from a good place initially. Like yes, we, we had a sense of community, and from we can since we can remember. But to be honest, squeezy, eh, kuna watu wana exploit wengine. It's a bit risky, and I guess yeah, that's where the black tax connotation comes from. Yeah. But anyway, for anybody who might just be wondering, what is this black tax that we're talking about? Mm-hmm. And it actually, for me, it comes with. I mean, the name. For me, I equate it to burden. Mm. Sorry to say so. Mm. Yeah, I know we have that the spirit of helping one another as Africans, but honestly, I equate it to a burden. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, the reason we are getting to the conversation around it being a burden is you guys, have you been in a situation or heard of somebody who's been in a situation where they are constantly being asked for money yeah. by their folks or their uncles or First of all, is there anyone who is not being <laughs> asked? No, man, seriously, I want yeah. to know, is there anyone in oh, here? Sorry, sorry, you're not being question. asked, yes. Yeah, anyone who's not being asked. Yeah, that's, I don't know anyone. Yeah. 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 Because we are ready to like character development. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, as in, that's the point. I think, and that's that's why I'm saying I don't I don't look at it as a negative thing. Mm-hmm. What you said is right. If it's if it's forced, if it is um you're being put under pressure and it's beyond your means, mm-hmm. then sir, I, mm-hmm. I agree. But uh, I think everyone here, we all support one another in different stages of mm-hmm. life in some way. Mm-hmm. I'm sure people are paying somebody's school fees here. Yeah, It's not your child. You're, you know, there's something that is, and that's a powerful tool. So yeah, you're asking at who, who we all being asked. <laughs> I'm just, no, I'm saying all of us. Okay. Yes, Maybe yeah. what we need then to mm-hmm. get into is, who, who has experienced a sense of abuse in it? Because yes, we, the kind of you've said we are all supporting, you know, and it's a sense of community. But where do you draw the line? Where does it now move from supporting or being being able to hold somebody else's hand to now becoming a tool that you feel you're kind of being pressured towards? Mm, I don't know. I feel WhatsApp groups are dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Especially the wedding ones. Yeah, okay, so... I don't know if you guys are like me, but you know, have you ever seen those WhatsApp groups? Then she sees, okay, something is being, we're raising money for something. It's something. Somebody mm-hmm. sick, wedding, something is going on. So you start seeing, okay, how much is being contributed per person? Yeah. Then you, like, you measure. Yeah. Then you measure. So, yeah, and then, but why do you have to measure? No. 
Why do you have to give exactly what everyone else is giving? So, first of yeah. all, maybe the reason I would measure is yes. because first of all, I don't have that money. I'm not budgeted for it. Exactly. And so whatever, why are you giving me, them? why I've even smiled from you, I think even we've gone far. Mm. For me, I have that WhatsApp setting for you can't add me in the group. Send yes. me a link so that I yes. choose to join. That's the exact So me, I'll just like that. I'm not <laughs> no, but you're in the group already. No, I be added. No, there are many me, groups. Have to, yes. You have to send me the link for me okay. to join. So if I check in and I'm like, eh, hey, see where's he? And that's what I'll just send you a You're already in the group. So it's like a family group. Yeah. You know, it's a chat group. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So, but yes, why do you have to give ex- and and I'm let's do it on the positive side. Yes. If everyone is giving 500 and you feel you should give 5,000, why wouldn't you give? No, if I have capacity mm-hmm. and if I believe in the thing that we are doing, mm-hmm. I will give. And also, I mean, the capacity here is let's be realistic. Okay. You see, when we sit. And you you know you're looking at the tools that you've gotten at the end of the month. So we are all employed, mm-hmm. and probably you might even have a business, so mm-hmm. you have an additional source of income. But I'm looking at the tools, and I'm saying, okay, I've pangered for this, I've pangered mm-hmm. for this, I've pangered for this. Mm-hmm. Now this one that I hadn't pangered for, especially let's say it's something that, according to me, I don't think it's an emergency. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, but that's my point. My point for me is I'm trying to break out of it, of that idea of I have to match what everybody else is doing. Yeah. Like it should be a decision. Like. And not and not always to the negative, like mm-hmm. to have to give less. You can give more. I think we have to be, we have to be a bit, uh, how would they say, um, generous in life as you yeah. can afford. But that's that was for me. It was that pressure of you in a WhatsApp group, you're watching everyone give a certain amount, and you feel like you have to give that amount. And then the that's names it. are listed with the amount. Yeah. That exactly. You yes. Yes. Yeah. And, and sometimes it even adds up to the pressure, such that you hear some stories of. Um, guys who contributed 200, our Jacob kwa list, you know, mm. like my 200, why, why can't I see it? <laughs> Just yeah. put in the guys when you want to come out to k But my 200 is not there because it will show people that you, that you can start contributing 200. Yeah. I'll be opening like that door for guys to start sending that to Now, when I talk about it, I'm So it opens the door for abuse. Yes. In as much as it's transparency and accountability, mm-hmm. it also opens that door for. Um, to manipulate what to so that mm-hmm. we send the money that we want mm-hmm. and we want them to send like we bring money. Mm-hmm. So yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I wish it sounds like you're the one who called that guy. <laughs> you called the fundraiser and you told him, where is my 200? <laughs> okay, it wasn't me. <laughs> you're speaking okay, well, for a friend. You're, you're speaking for a friend. So, I'm so. Speaking, speaking for a friend. <laughs> good, good, good. Um, I can't see my 200. Mm-hmm. So, that's mm-hmm. I if that's what I was able to, um, I'm at a time, mm-hmm. yeah, and mm-hmm. that month in the group section buyer, yeah, and that's all that I could give, you know. Mm-hmm. That 200 meant a lot to me, yeah, and how to get a quality of Yeah, so we opened the group for abuse, but true, we need to come together. Like WhatsApp groups, they have saved lives, yeah, they have saved lives, they have saved marriages, they have saved relationships, they've saved people because medical bills, um, mm-hmm. as as we are one mm-hmm. illness away from. But mm-hmm. especially in Africa, because actually not in Africa, all over the world, uh, healthcare is one thing that can take you to poverty, like mm-hmm. pap. Mm-hmm. So it is true that it has saved lives, like those WhatsApp groups, but it also opens for like, abuse. Mm-hmm. So I think personally, um, just knowing that in as much as I am helping, I'm not helping because someone is helping up to a certain point. Mm-hmm. If, what am I able to do? Yeah. Like just, um, stand your ground, like whatever, 200, yeah. Yeah. 2000, 20,000. Just give it and be proud of what you've done. As best think, as you can, but it's pressure. Yeah, may, may I feel yeah. the pressure? Yeah, yeah sorry, 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 sorry. And I also think communication is really key. Like, uh, let's say you have a wedding and you need some assistance. It's good that you communicate to me early enough for me to prepare myself so that by the time we decide maybe to form a, a WhatsApp group to support you, I'm ready. Mm-hmm. You don't just ambush me. <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm. with a WhatsApp group. So I think communication plays a key role. Yeah, in Black Tax. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Answer. I'm sorry, but we the wedding ones, like I have a big problem. Why? Like, What's why? the problem? Why are you adding me to WhatsApp group for your wedding? I mean you're my because you're part of my life. We you're you're important to me. You are a friend, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, I agree. When mm-hmm. I, if you add me to WhatsApp group, I'll join. Thank but you, you know there are guys who <laughs> You know, you exchanged contacts at some event. Oh, okay. Those yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. now they just sent the invite yeah. to every, everyone. Like, as long as yeah, I have your contacts, you yeah. yeah, you so should find yourself inside. No. You should be trusting guys. Them. That's why I told you, me, my WhatsApp setting is yes. you send me the link so that <laughs> yes. I choose whether I'm going to join mm. or not. I want to shift the conversation a bit and let's talk a little bit about parents. 
you know, you have, so you have folks at home, they are probably living in their own home and, you know, they need maintenance. And yeah. there's usually this conversation that's usually kind of hard to have where they brought you up, with your school mm-hmm. fees, mm-hmm. university, mm-hmm. you know, close to you and all the things that you needed to get you to where you're at. Yeah. So do you think you owe them anything? Yeah, yes. to some point. Yeah, mm-hmm. personally, I feel like I do. But to be honest, I don't know if it's right to say this, but mm-hmm. sometimes there's that sense of entitlement. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's good also for parents to understand that, yes, as much as I owe them, mm-hmm. well, I do also have my... <laughs> Mm-hmm. Sorry, I do also have my 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 own goals mm-hmm. that I need to take care of. Yeah. So I think now when it comes to handling that, I'll have to let's say I need to support my parent, I'll have to assess my financial status mm-hmm. or situation. Mm-hmm. Put I mean just do a, a tabulation or a calculation of my my the income, the expenses, the goals, what I need to uh, what I need to have for myself, then have a communication with them that this is what I'll be giving you maybe uh, at the end at the end of every month. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, when it comes to supporting parents, there's usually that sense of entitlement mm-hmm. with our parents. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm saying this with all respect yes. for them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So, but personally, I think one of my personal goals, you know, those things that I believe are the things that I prioritize is making sure that my parents have a good time, yeah? Like mm-hmm. making sure that they are like in a proper place. Mm-hmm. So I'll do my best to make sure they are in that. Mm-hmm. But now, um, Entitlement, as Nancy is saying, may chip in, you know. Yeah. Um, you're sending an extra, an extra amount to them every month. Mm. So at some point, they start calling, oh, by the way, yeah. there was an extra expense, like we needed to go to some place or we needed to do X, Y. So this, that, because it will always come. Yeah. And as parents, peer one as Eka, um, other things, uh, mm. medical yeah. bills, mm. um, sometimes a parent is not working. Mm. So you, really do have an obligation. Personally, I do feel it is an obligation mm-hmm. because I saw I saw my mom struggle to take me to school. Mm-hmm. Like I know she struggled because what she was doing, um, it wasn't like the best of jobs mm-hmm. and and it wasn't the best paying. So I saw her um, like use whatever income she had to just take me through school. I saw her prioritize my education over her goals, mm. personal financial goals. Mm. She needed to build her house, but she put that aside first until Janawaki mm. Amaliza Kusoma. You know, like she came to build a house after I'm graduated. Mm-hmm. So telling me that I should like um stop a little and focus on my stuff first, but like yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, that would be problematic. That's the thing with personal finance mm-hmm. or generally the topic of money is as personal as it is to you, mm-hmm. your experiences and how you grew up and the things that matter to you. Mm-hmm. So that matters to me. So I'll do my best to make sure she has a good time. But um, she also has certain limits. You know, like there are mm-hmm. some things that you can't ask me to do mm-hmm. because, you know, I'm not earning that like, huge <laughs> amount of money as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so let us... You, there's something, um, Mangari, she's our colleague, she likes to say, you cannot pour from an, an empty cup. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you really have to build yourself to a certain level so that you can be able to help them even when like, they need certain kinds of assistance. Yeah. Like right now, I cannot say pay those 300k bills and stuff, mm-hmm. you know, but, but, um, I can tell them, uh, and you know, mm-hmm. like yeah. I can do something and I will do it, but if you can some other point, like this, uh, this is a point, and, uh, and I think we need to discuss it now. Mm-hmm. It's what we just sit down and say, by the way, I can do this. The other are uh, kidogos. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I'm also trying to build myself, I'm trying to do ABC, you know, and they are your folks. So you can tell them, because you can tell them, I'm trying to A, save yeah. for mm-hmm. B, want mm-hmm. to buy, mm-hmm. you know, like you can mention those things to them. To the parents mm-hmm. the but I am cognizant that there are toxic people out there. <laughs> those toxic parents, they exist. <laughs> Those manipulative parents exist. Yeah. And you know how I they're just human my, beings. Yeah. 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 How I deal with mine is not the same way someone who has a toxic parent mm-hmm. will deal with them. Yeah. 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 I think I relate to you Rush, when you say that you saw how much your mom had to sacrifice. Like even for me when I think about my dad. And I remember when I was young, in a season I think when we didn't have a job and we had to go to my shoshu's place, you know, to get food. You just try and make ends meet. Mm-hmm. I completely relate. And actually one of my biggest struggles is usually say, I'm trying to look for the balance because I have children. Mm-hmm. And I'm usually trying to think what's the balance between I really want to be a blessing to my folks and I also want to bring up my kids. And then, of course, there's me. Mm-hmm. And usually, sometimes, it's such a hard thing to balance. Mm-hmm. Because you're a facade. 
we had more stars. We had more mm. yeah. yeah. okay. But I, 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 I see from the bottom of my heart when I realize what parents have had to sacrifice for us. It's a big deal. Mm-hmm. But now I want to get into the part where you talked about toxicity. Yeah. Before you go there, yes. let's deal with this. I, I, I wanted to throw something in there. Mm-hmm. Well, wish, when you were growing up, did your mom give you everything you wanted? She did her best, not everything. So not the, everything. there's something she said no to. Yes. Yeah. Why? Aha, because, because she could not afford them. That's it. So, mm-hmm. I cannot so it's the same thing in your relationship. You're being as responsible as a parent yeah. and you're saying you can't manage every single thing. So mm-hmm. even your parents are saying they went out of their way. Yeah. They did as much as they could help you, but they didn't have do everything you wanted. Mm-hmm. But the stuff that you needed and that, that they had the ability to do, they did for you. Yeah. So have a look the same way and just think, I'm that relationship, the dynamic has changed in the same way. And so you have to be responsible for the same kind of decision making. But uh, saying no to your mom or to your father <laughs> is a hard, yeah. it's a hard it thing. Is. Yes. But it's an important thing to do yeah. if you're going to manage everything at the same time. So I'm not saying you have to say no to everything, but mm. there should be limits. Just the same way as a good parent had limits for you yeah. with all their love with everything even you now okay now i was about to bring <laughs> others others who may not be parents in the room i know this side of the room we are parents yeah. 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 ruby we, yes. you don't give your kids everything no of course not. yeah mm. is it because you don't love them no. okay love so the same thing yeah mm-hmm. so it's it's not don't don't get pressured into something you can't afford mm-hmm. um yeah and just taking from that mm-hmm. one, i think one of the things that is a big challenge is we are not able to have a candid conversation with our folks. Mm-hmm. And I like that Wabesh said, you know, you can tell them the goals, but if we are being honest, many of us like, you, know, yep. you, you left home, you went, you started your own life mm-hmm. and you talk, but on the surface. Mm-hmm. So when they say, you know, please send me money for this, you, you, you just send. You just have we ever like actually sat and said, you know, mom, mm-hmm. be honest, mm-hmm. I earn, and you know, you don't have to be specific, but I earn a certain range of money mm-hmm. and you know, I have to pay rent, I have to and you know, here in Nairobi, for example, mm-hmm. all those things we are buying, yeah? There's mm-hmm. nowhere that you, know, you have a kashamba, unless maybe you own your own home, you, know, you have somewhere where you have a kitchen garden, mm-hmm. we are buying all those things. So sometimes I also feel like this perspective, maybe mm-hmm. 100K sounds like a lot of money mm-hmm. from their perspective, yeah. based yeah. off, you know, they own their own home, mm-hmm. they have they get bogas from the shamba, but you, your 100K has rent, <laughs> has that boga that you're buying for triple the price. It has Zakayo for 30%. Well, yeah, as in, yeah, <laughs> Hey, yeah. By the time you're even sitting down, you're just like, oh, where is the money that I'm yeah. going to send? Yeah. yeah. So do we have those conversations? Are we willing to actually tell them, not your mom, dad, up until you drink? Well, you are mambo. You know, actually, sometimes it's difficult to even tell them because, okay, for example, right now I can't tell my mom that I'm planning to, say, buy a car and I have not built a house. You know, like, that I'm saving <laughs> to buy my car. And I've not built a house. No, she'll be like, no, you should tell, be telling me that you are saving to build a house. Yes, not she has had how agenda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we have differing opinions mm-hmm. over what I should prioritize. But it is my life, so I should prioritize what I want. Mm-hmm. So maybe in as much as we are trying to communicate, mm-hmm. understanding the place they're coming from mm-hmm. and agreeing to disagree. You know, like, yeah. let us agree to disagree, but mm-hmm. these are my goals. Mm-hmm. As long as they're responsive, you know, like, I'm not saving to uh, I'm saving for something that yeah. matters to me. Yeah. So if you don't think it's as valuable as you think it should be, uh, it's okay that you think that way, but mm-hmm. this is my goal and this is what I'm saving for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so like, when having those discussions, they will have different opinions sometimes. Mm-hmm. And sometimes mm-hmm. that is why we don't have them. That is why you will continue <laughs> playing <laughs> black tax. Yeah. Yeah, you'll continue like, playing, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. paying a lot of money yeah. because you just couldn't tell them that <clears throat> these are the things that you want. Well, wait, so, and let's go back to who is getting hurt. We're not <laughs> sharing what's happening yeah. with yeah. the person who's... You're the one. The one. Yeah. 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 I mean, personally, I'm also a victim. Okay. I mean, I've never sat my parents down to yeah. have with them such a conversation mm-hmm. because, I mean, it's tough. As much as it's so easy to say, mm-hmm. it's really, really tough to sit them down and mm-hmm. have such a conversation because you also have that uh, sense of responsibility to give back, mm-hmm. you see. So anyway, I think we'll just learn <laughs> as <laughs> time goes time. by. Yeah, it's yeah. one day at a time, really. Mm-hmm. And you support you support them as much as you can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I mean, it, it, it goes across. I know there are many of us who would be able to be honest and say it's hard to have that conversation. Mm-hmm. But I'd like... I pull it from what I can say. The same way you can tell your children that you know what I'm not able to buy this because I can't afford it. Mm-hmm. 
And in fact, his analogy really gave me wisdom because I'm like, if my folks would say no, because I remember that analogy for money doesn't grow on trees. So if my folks can say no, I see how that gives me a good, a softer landing to how to communicate. Of course, I'm not going to go and say, a panata won't come in. But it, it gives a level of wisdom on how we can actually have that conversation within a comfortable space that helps them to understand. Because at the end of the day, we are finding very many people struggling with mental health issues because mm-hmm. they don't know how to communicate or to say no. And, you know, our founder usually says this a lot, that no is a complete statement, yeah, a complete answer. <laughs> but what I'm convey it doesn't give me <laughs> your parents. Yeah. Your parents. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, under what yeah. circumstances yeah. do you have yeah. the authority <laughs> to, to say me. no? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, so, yeah, I was reading a post just before he said um, on Reddit. Like a lady was sharing about um, parents' relationship and them asking for money. Yeah. You know, so she took herself to school, um, like after campus, mm-hmm. and has to pay school fees mm-hmm. for the, the smaller siblings. Yeah. siblings yeah? So they need 12K for a talent thing, mm-hmm. talent show or something. Mm-hmm. So they ask, hey, we need 12K for, for, for this show, and, and she doesn't have the money. Mm-hmm. And the mother proposes. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have this chama where there's table banking. You can just take a loan and just give us the way you end a talent show. You know, like, what do you mean? Uh, I take a loan to pay for my brothers or sisters. <laughs> you speak. Mm-hmm. They won't respect your decision. Even though she's, you are she's the one who's in the table banking. Like, why am I the one who's in Yeah. Yeah. Why can't you? And actually, for me, one of those, and that's a thing that I usually uh, struggle with on and off. Mm-hmm. Okay. I I mean, and it's with all due respect, they are your siblings, yes. But who is the parent? Yeah. <laughs> okay. In all this, I think one of the biggest issues we're facing is exactly what you said. Mm-hmm. We're not having the conversation. So you're unable to air mm-hmm. any of the issues that are coming up. And so again, you're entering into the uh, into discussions and the relationship based on assumptions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if you have assumptions, you're assuming this child of mine has a lot of money. Yeah. They have not as many children as I do. So why aren't they sending money to me? They, you are assuming my parents, they should have planned, they should mm-hmm. have done all these things. Mm-hmm. So why aren't they taking care of themselves? Yeah. So as long as you don't have the conversation, you don't know what the mm-hmm. situation is. Yeah. So I think having the conversation is mm-hmm. the starting point to get out of the that issues too. that you're facing. Yeah. yeah. That actually, sorry, it's okay. <laughs> that actually reminds me of an interesting story that I read online. Mm-hmm. Like someone has parents who are about to retire mm-hmm. and the parents expect that this person caters for old because the parents, uh, they intend maybe to live a certain kind of lifestyle, mm-hmm. yeah. like traveling, you know, eating mm-hmm. out and they expect the, um, the child or rather, yeah, yeah. to take care of all these to cater for all the costs. Now, how can you advise such a person? That's a good question. And especially like me, I'm thinking about it. Like assuming they want to go to Santorini in Greece and yeah. travel into Greece. Sasa, hey, mm-hmm. me, I think um, I'd be like, happily come out to and we should discuss. But I think it comes back to we must have that conversation. Because if me, myself, I'm not mm-hmm. being able to take care of myself to a certain standard, mm-hmm. I can imagine that. But will you say no to them? Yes, because I can't have to take you to Santorini. <laughs> Me, myself, I can't go myself. No, I'm not going to take you. But I think, I mean, it boils down to, again, we really must have this stuff. Yeah. Because, hey. But if you have I the money, think. you would do it. It's not, yes. and I think that's the, that's what part of the, what would come out in the conversation, which is, what I have, mm-hmm. I'm able to give, mm-hmm. or I have planned for it in a different way, mm-hmm. and you're part of my plan. I think that's those are kind of things that you want to get out there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's not like if you didn't have look, if you're you know global superstar, <laughs> you know yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying, and you're multi-millionaire, billionaire, yeah. what? Yeah. Build, Maybe it's yeah, build your parents a house. I don't think it's something that you would say no to. Mm-hmm. Now that's a character issue. That's now a personal issue. If somebody yeah. mm-hmm. actually has, mm-hmm. yeah. They are, and they are refusing to support, then mm-hmm. that's a different story altogether. Mm-hmm. But if you're actually supporting to a specific, to the level that you can, then that, that issue of expectations now is, is what you're no, doing. Like, I mm-hmm. want some folks like those folks who are relentless. Like yeah. they call you and call you and mm-hmm. call you and they won't take no for an answer. And they guilt trip you, maybe. Yeah, they make you feel like as yeah. in, I think you know that has shifted from like now being a financial issue mm-hmm. becoming Personal. a personality. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, like like we started with negative 
and toxic mm-hmm. and manipulative parents exist they will mm-hmm. strip you they will want you to get that coin out of your pocket mm-hmm. but now i think the point is just put all the all your cards on the table but mm-hmm. here now mm-hmm. i can't do santorini like you you me however much you want mm-hmm. but uh easy but maybe mm-hmm. we can look for store mm-hmm. um, we can mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or somewhere else yeah. you can mm-hmm. see. Mm-hmm. but you're you're easy mm-hmm. and and is also realizing that you can't be a hero in everyone's story mm-hmm. you just have to realize that I, I am it, it just that's what I'm saying it one more time yeah. just one more time <laughs> just repeat yeah you, you can't, can't be a hero in every story you. not in yeah. everyone's yes. story yeah. yeah some people will just view their cousins their siblings mm-hmm. they are your mm-hmm. parents mm-hmm. but they will not view whatever you bring as the right thing and they will say we are tajiri and asaidia ngi watu wao you know like yeah. watu wao wana lanja yeah. and sometimes it's not in jabat they will mm-hmm. just take it mm-hmm. in ninja mm-hmm. and Yeah, you want to be a hero in your own story. And it's okay. Mm-hmm. Like that is okay as long as you're doing the right thing for you mm-hmm. and for them mm-hmm. to the extent that you can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's okay. And you can't control other people. I think mm-hmm. from my experience and uh, yeah, man, I've had issues with relatives where they're saying help, help, help. Then you help. You send money. Mm-hmm. You know, it's for a business, it's for, you know, supporting children, it's for school fees. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then they don't use it for that <laughs> then you see a few few months later a few maybe a year yeah, later yeah. we are back again yeah. send money again because we're in trouble no yeah. i'm not going to send why because mm-hmm. you're not being even responsible with the cash that yeah. you, that you're being sent now yeah. i'm saying that it can be possible even that happens with parents as well mm-hmm. where there's a sense in which as you said it's toxic to the point where somebody is just not doing for themselves you can't do everything So unless you're managing the person's finances for them mm-hmm. then you're going to find yourself in trouble. So yeah. you can't. Mm. Yeah. You just can't. Yeah, so to add on that, you know, we've had stories of guys um especially people who work in the Gulf and, and outside the country and maybe have left the kid with their parents. Mm-hmm. So they've been paying for private school. They're paying for private school mm-hmm. but the kids and end up that primary school near their home and the parents just Okay, the cash. That's it. And yes. Una upkeep, yes. Yeah. Yes. I have upkeep. a friend of mine she was in the Gulf. She sent money to build a house. And this house wasn't <laughs> no. even for her. No. It was for her mother because mm-hmm. she's staying with her kids. Oh, no. The mom dished the money with the bro. Wow. That chick when she came back, yani ata ata the the shamba itself was not existed. <laughs> How much was it? Could I you know the amount? She she went to the oh, oh, no. like something almost about a million, 900k wow. when that because they oh, live no. in Kisaria and they had already established it. Got mm-hmm. a small piece of land and she's like, you know what? She's bringing up my kids. My mom has also sacrificed. Mm-hmm. So how can I support her to also be comfortable? Now some of those things and you know, it can really mm-hmm. break your heart. It's, it's because now what do you do? Yeah, it discourages Yeah, because you can lot. imagine you've come back, you're thinking you've sacrificed three years as to send money yeah. and then you come and you're like, "Ala, is the house <laughs> in Can you imagine? Hey, Emma, you know, why is my child in this school and I have been yeah. paying X? Yeah. And it gets to the point where you find people have to look for friends to pay that school fees for you directly because mm-hmm. you know, you know, you know your peeps and you know that happen. Yeah. Hey, another another example in Meshag is a guy who sent money to the brother mm-hmm. who built a house. And then the brother was like, I know a guy. So, I got after fund to umta. <laughs> and the, 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 the structure they found back at home. <laughs> Not yeah. even house, it's a structure. <laughs> it's a structure. <laughs> like, it yeah. went too bad. Like you see, it's it's just like when we were at Tumawe, when we were at Tumawe, and like it looked bad. So when he came, they had to like take everything down. Oh, no. Even the iron sheets, you know, the yeah. thing. Yeah. So some of the they had to be uh, all that loss. So he's gone and found the money. Yeah. And then you. Yeah. yeah, I know a guy. That's it, yeah. 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 Wow. Let's talk about somebody who's lost a job. Let's say mm-hmm. you have a brother or a sister who's lost a job. And now, you know, of course, you you're still working. They 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 are saying, "Oh, you have a car, you have a nice house, and like have mm-hmm. you can afford to send these shoes." Mm-hmm. And you send. At which point do you know is this an investment I'm making towards this guy being able to look for a job mm-hmm. or apa to I'm being manipulated and he uh, may Okay, so um It's okay. I'll give mm-hmm. you some money, mm-hmm. X amount. I think that's a discussion we need to have. Like, um, I will support you, mm-hmm. and it's for the next say three months. Mm-hmm. Like beyond that, you'll have to have figured out because three months is enough mm-hmm. for you to have figured out something to help you sustain your life. Like, is it? Um, does it mean like you move to a cheaper house? Does it mean you move back home or something as you figure things mm-hmm. out? You know, mm-hmm. like it has to be with a timeline that um, nitakusaidia up to a point. Mm-hmm. 
as you figure out. And then I can assist you with other things. Maybe I'm like a job. Like what's your what's your qualifications? What are they like? And if I know someone who does that, I can ask around and see mm. whether there are people who are looking for people with exact qualifications. Mm-hmm. But um, it doesn't mean that I am, um, you know, savior, messiah. Yeah. You know, like that messiah saying, yeah. hey, hey. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah, Cause when someone loses mm-hmm. a job, and especially if they are family, mm-hmm. it gets to you. You know, like you are invested in it emotionally. Mm-hmm. But sometimes you will think with that person, mm-hmm. trying to save them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's a point when, you know, like I'll do this for the next three months, X amount, and maybe I'll pay your fare to go for interviews. Mm-hmm. Like, that part here for upkeep, mm-hmm. and then I'll pay for your fare to go for interviews mm-hmm. and all that. Yeah. If you're looking mm-hmm. for a professional job. But as you do that, how are you like trying to figure out stuff? Because life is tough. Mm-hmm. And you really have to like put yourself out there. Do something, you know, like show me that you're doing something. Mm-hmm. And maybe at the end of three months, to that more based on your conduct, yeah. you know, oh, you yeah. whether I can give you one more month or something. You know, like I have to see that you're putting some effort and I'm not creating a dependency syndrome mm-hmm. such that I don't have to do it. Yeah. So this There's a level of like desperation that you also need mm-hmm. to push you to look aggressively for that mm-hmm. job, mm-hmm. to look aggressively for that next source of income. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I, I will cap it. Cap it at eh, Mizi. That was Kisha. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, there are people who don't see it that way. Mm-hmm. I mean, the, this person that you're helping, they'll tend to be to grow lazy. And mm-hmm. alegia sasa, you want to there's some help and a partner from somewhere. You see. Yeah. No, but it's not everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah some it's people, some, yeah. some, yeah, mm-hmm. some. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. We've had instances where you find you know, you're supporting somebody and it goes from three months to six months to a year. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, actually, we're well, has true. So mm-hmm. when, when it Why do I need to? He'll always send me mm-hmm. this at the end of the month. Mm-hmm. So how do you make sure that you don't, you're not financially enabling them to be? Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's so, it. That's okay, so there's two things there. Can You're managing yourself, first of all, to know what can you afford to help? Mm-hmm. And that's that's always because it also builds resentment over time. And you don't want to be resentful towards yeah. people that you're giving <laughs> and supporting. Yes. If it's beyond what you can afford, mm. then that's already a problem. So it mm. should be within what you can afford. Even if you're making sacrifices on your part, it shouldn't go beyond what you are you can afford. Mm. And in my opinion, that's mm. number one. Number two there's a responsibility on that person. And I think you have to gauge exactly what you're saying, what that level of responsibility mm-hmm. is. So for me, I've experienced, I've, I've actually helped, sometimes I've helped a friend more than I've helped a relative mm-hmm. because you can actually see what that's like. So we had one of my relatives, he, he was looking for opportunities. He had not got a job. He had not, and you know, these are people you've helped for many years. Eh? Mm-hmm. And... So then an opportunity came like so t- to start a business. So I was like, wow, guys, he's finally doing something. So I was like, even I called my cousins, you know, all the relatives and we said, okay. I was like, what's up, guy? I'm sorry. I'm like, I started the WhatsApp group. I'm the guy who started the WhatsApp group. I told guys, he's, he's saying he's starting a business. What can we do? Let's mm-hmm. do something. And there were those who were saying, ah, but we've helped before. I said, yeah, yeah. But he's trying. Yeah. So let's do. Unfortunately, we we raised funds, we raised, we raised, mm-hmm. and where we stopped raising, mm-hmm. everything completely stopped. Like as in, like there was no effort on on his side. Yeah. First, now, so at that point, at that point, now you can't ask. But we told guys and told the guys, you know what, we did our part. Mm-hmm. He was in need. Yeah. Guys, we raised funds. We made, we gave him the opportunity. Did it work? No. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, fast forward, a friend of mine lost his job. I mean, it's, you know what COVID was like for yeah. so many people, but this guy was not sitting in the house as in daily, he would go out. And that's what, that's what like moved my heart. He was walking over 25 kilometers per day doing sales to shops. And he was making about 600 bob a day. This is a guy with a family, mm-hmm. but you see, he was not sitting in the house. Yeah, yes. Fine. He's actually saying what I'm, um, I'll find something and he's mm-hmm. going out and doing it. Mm-hmm. So when you look at somebody like that, then you're like, what, I, what can you do but help? So we, yeah, are, I mean, yeah. we had a meeting in the house and we said, mm-hmm. can we help? What can mm-hmm. we do? 
So we sat down and friends together and we said, we're going to clear this guy's debt. Mm-hmm. And we, and you did. And guys were willing to do so because mm-hmm. you can see somebody's not just sitting back and yeah, expect the, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you're trying to judge someone's character through their actions. So if they're not taking action, at some point you also just have to cut them off yeah. and say, hey, when you're serious, come back. Yeah. Then mm-hmm. we'll, we'll have a chat. Yeah. I agree with you. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's important to come through for someone. It's mm-hmm. really, really important mm-hmm. to help. Yeah, but you see, uh, as I mentioned before, the only challenge becomes, uh, comes when they, when Anza Kulegia, you see. Mm-hmm. But anyway, mm-hmm. it's, it's really important because you never know about tomorrow. Yeah, but for me, how, how, how would really handle that situation? The terms and conditions, just as I already mentioned. <laughs> yeah, we have to make yeah, them clear. Yeah. Down. Yeah. And you, three. So you, you have a contract. Three and three means. terms and conditions. Really? Yeah, we Take have to. Home. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there well, has to be terms yeah. and conditions. Guess, yeah. Yes, I'm willing to help you. I'm happy to assist. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you never know. You never know about tomorrow. Mm. But then we have to put everything clear. I'm yeah. helping you up to uh, until maybe a certain limit. Mm. I'll give you money. Uh, up to a certain limit, mm-hmm. but you also have to put in some effort. So, yeah. I, okay. Good plan. Like, <laughs> very good plan. But now the problem comes when mm-hmm. um, there wasn't a start. You know, like you were not told. Now start helping. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they lost their job, and mm-hmm. you knew they were trying to do something. Mm-hmm. And then they told you, "Oh, by the way, you are acting as affair." So you send. Yeah, you mm-hmm. sent. But we done any one of. Then they too. Um, they tell you, oh, by the way, there's a second one, and I still do not have, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, fast forward a week, something else happens. Mm-hmm. So, there was no start period for when yeah. you started helping. Mm-hmm. So, you see, um, you would have written the terms and conditions, but you're already <laughs> deep in it, like mm-hmm. you are in the water right find, now. Yeah. <laughs> you're already doing it. Yeah. So, you might not, like, get the time or, but in that yeah, case, you are the problem, exactly. not mm. them. Yeah. So you are the you're problem too much. because you have not mm-hmm. you've not set a limit. And yeah. that, I, I mean, we always talk about this in the classes where we're telling guys, mm-hmm. you have to set a limit because, as you said, you can't be a hero in everyone's story. Yes. If you don't set a limit, everyone has a plan for your money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So put a number, mm-hmm. and then when you get to that number, yes. it's like, by the way, I don't have. And it's yeah. the moment you realize that it's yes. becoming something you will continue to do. You know, like yes. as a one-off, sometimes you'll say, um, because I still have this 2K and mm-hmm. it was meant for two days, mm-hmm. why not? Mm-hmm. But the second time, the third time, um, mm-hmm. now I think we need to have a talk. Mm-hmm. We need to talk because <laughs> I will do this, but I will not do this fast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What if it's your blood sister or brother, like a close relative? How would you handle the situation? I think mm-hmm. we, I, and you know, it comes back. First of all, that sigh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You breathe so heavy. Yeah. Is, yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Is everything <laughs> right? So heavy is because I, I completely appreciate how heavy yeah. you see it. Yeah. 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 It's your own sibling. It's mm-hmm. someone that you love and somebody that you care about deeply. Mm-hmm. But I think at the end of the day, you know that, that conversation where we say children come from one womb, mm-hmm. but they are completely different. Mm-hmm. There's actually, I mean, I think it boils down to why that has conversation. You have to judge the character. Yes, you're my brother mm-hmm. and you're my sister and I'm coming through for you. Yeah. But if you, me, I'm sending you money to go for interviews and you're going to play PS mm-hmm. and then one day randomly, did you mm-hmm. to give a heavy? <laughs> that me, I've been thinking you're going for interviews. Kume, <laughs> where, where? Your life has been lit. <laughs> <laughs> you have fun. I mean, I mean even in the mm-hmm. room, where you're betting the money, mm-hmm. imagine me, I'm going to be guilty. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As a babo, you must be held accountable. Mm-hmm. Even you, the same way you have that expectation that I should be to send you this money is the same way I should be able to hold you accountable mm-hmm. that you're doing the thing that you committed to. Do. Mm-hmm. What if they and get sorry? Please yes, continue. Sorry, sure. What if they get fr- maybe frustrated and God forbid, yeah, they get frustrated and get to a point of doing something uh, detrimental, as detrimental as taking away their life. Actually, I read how you, I think what how you handle that issue? Yeah, we read somewhere where they were talking about and maybe like I was really up to speed. So this lady is helping her siblings. She's taking her siblings through school. And then, and through debt. So she's really mm-hmm. accumulated a lot of debt just trying to support her brothers. And one of her brothers is caught, he's in high school, mm-hmm. he's caught taking bar. So he's suspended from school. So he goes home. And now when it's time for being back to school, the mom is like, Allah, send money to take this, your brother to school. And the lady is like, imagine, no, me, I'm already deep in debt. I've been sacrificing all these rooms mm-hmm. for you to be caught mm-hmm. smoking weed. Mm-hmm. So unfortunately, the guy, after I think, I think a couple of weeks took his own life. Mm-hmm. And she said that her mom actually sent her a message saying the reason your brother killed himself is because of you. Mm-hmm. 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 The blame okay. on the person. Yeah. 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 Man. And that's extreme. It is extreme, but, and again, okay, so there's 
an element of mental illness here mm-hmm. because when it, to get to the point where somebody is taking, taking their own life it's it's multiple factors mm-hmm. they you said they were taking drugs and stuff so there's a mental illness element there and you have to remember that mm-hmm. and also remember you cannot control another human being like this mm-hmm. if you try and take upon yourself the burden of the world you're going to find yourself in trouble okay. um you can't control so you can't if that person who's watching is feeling mm. like that's where they are at. Yes. and here i'm looking at my net book i have a lot of this but mm. at the same time my mom and my dad are so feeling pressure yeah. what would you do that person i always encourage people be generous mm. and generosity does not be, mean be irresponsible there's a difference mm. between generosity and irresponsibility yeah. someone who's generous plans to give and give as much as they can that's mm. a generous person mm. somebody who is irresponsible mm. is someone who's just solving everybody's problems whenever you Jesus. have a problem mm. you you can't and that's you will become a problem eventually yeah. Yeah. so a generous person plans to give mm. and that's what that's all you can be able to do but you cannot again solve the problems of the world there are too many so we to the level that you can't help mm. yeah let us say about plan i read mm. as i was just doing my research i read some of that said mm. you as a person who gives black tax you plan for that money but the person that you give has no idea about plans them they are just a spender and so maybe there's also a conversation to be had around mm-hmm. even this tools that i'm sending to you it takes me being paid mm-hmm. sitting down mm-hmm. and doing my budget yeah. Yeah. and allocating a certain amount yeah mm-hmm. so it just doesn't come from nowhere yeah. and you also can't call me today and call me on the mm-hmm. 13th and call me on the 17th I'm paid once like mm-hmm. my salary is yeah. one yeah. so yeah. when i do the budget if i put x when yeah. x is just truly i don't have any money because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. so, so for some yeah. people like that and that's what we've seen I, this man i've seen that in life so many times mm-hmm. you take up a responsibility so like for that relative you you don't give them money yeah. you pay their school fees mm-hmm. you see you see so it's yes. not send me <laughs> that's usually the issue actually what's the problem school fees no problem send me the school's that's number true. that's it yeah. and now you send and pay school fees mm-hmm. if somebody else is having problems with rent don't send them money mm-hmm. send me your landlord's <laughs> you know account what and pay? what you do is you pay their rent and then anything else you have helped i think that's a point that sometimes we feel that guilt that i've not done enough no mm-hmm. i've learned now over time to just say you know what if you have helped you have helped mm-hmm. um to the best of your ability but what you're measuring now is if you don't trust that person mm-hmm. that's what it yeah. becomes you're saying mm-hmm. okay i don't trust you mm-hmm. but i will help you mm-hmm. so you need school fees exactly mm-hmm. <laughs> That's but they right. still call you for uh, money for food asking for money for so food. as you said no is a no. full sentence no. <laughs> yes they are saying no and especially because yeah. you're given to, to the capability that you can because i mean like the if when they're calling you for food and maybe other things that's mm-hmm. how people are getting into debt yeah. and yeah. you're the one now who gets affected and i like what we were said if you don't if you don't draw a boundary mm-hmm. yeah. you're going to sink with that person Yes. So you you here you came you've been doing a lot of planning and trying to grow yourself yes. but if you don't draw a boundary chances are high you yeah. are sinking. Yeah. Yeah. So you know how we discovered eh? so same stories always send <laughs> send money for food same story <laughs> send money for food send money for food yeah. so we said at some point we were like okay your problem is food mm. welcome mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah we said if you need food mm. our house <laughs> is open <laughs> come for dinner anytime <laughs> breakfast anytime come mm-hmm. guess what they never so showed they up come, they that's never really. cause food <laughs> yes yeah. so the problem was not food yeah. that's the issue so you can always tell <laughs> yeah. if the issue if you present the solution and it's not mm-hmm. then you find those are people who have addictions those are people who are you know gambling and other things yeah. that are there or they are, they are just being irresponsible with the money and don't want that yeah. so it's always there's a lie mm-hmm. like inside inside those yeah. things yeah. so again see you've been you said your problem is food mm-hmm. if you don't yeah, want food food then there is a question mark there yeah. and you don't don't have to carry that guilt mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and this um partly why black tax exists mm-hmm. is because people have poor terrible financial mm-hmm. habits out here mm-hmm. yeah such that um that's why we are having to discuss that um let and economy the fees mm-hmm. you know because you know if you send it to them they don't have the discipline mm-hmm. to do what is needed they don't have the discipline to take that money to school you just sit down eat it ama pies ama something else mm-hmm. and all that the things that we mentioned yeah mm-hmm. yeah 
they don't have the financial discipline mm-hmm. to do what that money was for. Yeah. So I think expose those people mm-hmm. here to some financial literacy, a form of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because because I can't be sending money for the same problem mm-hmm. every time. Mm-hmm. You know, especially maybe for parents it's a different story, but mm-hmm. for siblings, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. someone who has the ability to go there and earn their own income mm-hmm. and you're telling me that nyumba inafungwa kwa nini inafungwa unafanya nini what are you doing you know yeah. like eh, where are you not even saving hata mimi mwenyewe nafanya hiyo kazi ndio yangu isifunge exactly mm-hmm. so so like some some financial literacy is needed like generally i think mm-hmm. because if as a people we have financial mannerisms then is quite like you have good financial discipline mm-hmm. i think you will generally be less of a burden to you are uh, your people like if you're the imposer of the black tax yeah you will be less you know like yeah. the business person who you want and take advantage of you most probably you'll end up with the money and you'll pull up all the profits my money you'll have all the stock yes so, at least the people will Mm-hmm. come to class on mm-hmm. on a club trip the other sweet talk hadi stock una maliza kila kitu na square one amefungua duka anaenda nyumbani na unga it's okay yeah. with them yeah. Yeah. everything yeah. is check check yeah. Yeah. so i think <laughs> yeah financial literacy is key mm-hmm. so especially for those who can learn and are believe you can learn yeah. expose them to centonomi watume <laughs> but yeah. no but i wanted i wanted to kind of change the tone a little bit okay. mm-hmm. because there are success stories definitely you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. i know of relas who as a family the extended family we raised funds took them to school yeah. Yeah. now mm-hmm. they are actually taking others like mm-hmm. they are helping people they've actually made something of themselves yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, they are. um i we did work with equity wings to fly and you see all these families who are being supported not everyone is going to be a success mm-hmm. but there are some in that room yeah. who are paying it forward to other people yeah. so give M- my perspective is yes. always give be okay. as generous as you possi- mm-hmm. possibly can be but mm-hmm. be wise in your giving yeah. i think that's something that that's something yes. else that i that I'm, mm-hmm. i'm beginning to become better at and being at peace in my with myself mm-hmm. when somebody asks for money and you just say why mm-hmm. like you it's no longer <laughs> Mm. Why haven't you done something and it's not with evilness in your heart yeah. it's I want to make sure that if I'm helping I'm helping in the right way yeah. so it's the success it's not hey that's why I don't like calling <laughs> black tax me <laughs> it's family support yes. yeah, yeah. and as africans you see the result of it like there's there's something good in coming out of it and it's mm. our strength yes. like, as africans yeah. because we have that ability like it's part of our culture to help mm. And I believe everyone can speak of a family they know. Personally, I yeah. do know a family mm-hmm. where um when we were young, the first ones were going to support the younger ones mm-hmm. through school. And right now, when their family gatherings in December, mm-hmm. you see like mm-hmm. five vehicles in that mm-hmm. compound. Mm-hmm. You know, like it was a short term um uh what investment I call it? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, to, like, for a short yes. while they post their yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah just to support their siblings that's right because their siblings um were responsible enough yes. disciplined enough mm-hmm. it got to a place where like right now we don't have any burdens we can only support our parents mm-hmm. and now the parents are living the best lives yes. so, like, we can now mm-hmm. say this is the beauty of educating our kids mm-hmm. that's right mm-hmm. this is the beauty of being stuff for yeah. mm-hmm. and it's it's really encouraging mm-hmm. when you see your efforts bearing fruit mm-hmm. uh, bearing fruits yeah. yeah it's true and i mean if you give and then you see you know you actually see um what was budding out has now become a full blown flower mm-hmm. and they are taking off mm-hmm. it's it, it's such a beautiful experience to go through mm-hmm. and it reminds us that they're still good in the world and yeah. and you know not everybody is going to subscribe to the negative side of things mm-hmm. yeah as we wind up i just want to throw a spanner in the work so um a gentleman was sharing the other day the way they are There are, so there are young gentlemen so you know Abash and Wendaka will now give even advice having <laughs> been able to get to the next level so they're looking to get married yeah and they have met this chick and they really like them and everything but now when you take them home your folks are like hey it's a window and I'm not just going to be able to so you find young men are struggling to be able to get even into the institution of marriage because there's so much expectation mm. on this other side and every mm. babe or every chick you bring there's a connotation that hey, it's not just looks like they're going to eat all our money and mm. it's our money yeah. even yeah. my money mm-hmm. so wow yeah 
<laughs> How do you advise balance? This? Because yeah. it's a, I mean, it's a tough situation mm, to be in. It is, yeah. And here you are wanting to advise, advance your life, mm. yet on the other side, there's, I don't know whether to call it a hindrance. Mm-hmm. And it's sad, sorry, before you, you respond, and it's sad that there are people who, like, there are men who give in to their parents' pressure, and then they, they, they end up cancelling their marriages, yeah? Just wow. so that you don't become a burden yeah, to the family. Like, no, when, yeah, when mom says maybe this chick is going to come and spend all your money. But why would they say that? That's a question, I guess. So I think we're... we're what, what are they reading into? When I, when I read through it, it was mm. more of a, you've been taking care of us. You've been mm. paying for all our bills and, and doing else, everything. Yeah. Now, if you mm-hmm. add an extra person, mm-hmm. you're primarily going to be taken care of. Mm-hmm. It means we are reducing how much I'm getting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you get? Yeah. 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 So, so there's, there's, so there's, a, there's a toxicity okay, okay. to it yeah. as well. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. Okay, yeah, I think go ahead. part of what was discussed in, in episode one, mm-hmm. yeah, speak, sit mm-hmm. down, communicate. Um, I know I've been giving you this amount. Now I am a married man, mm-hmm. and part of what I earn will be going into supporting my family, which I've now started. You know, like I, I was single. A majority of what I earn. <laughs> let me know. Let's, a little. No, no, let's change the <laughs> discussion. Let's be very honest. No, yes. your responsibility. Okay, yeah. this yeah. may be I'm speaking. It's true. I'm the married man in this <laughs> room over <Yeah>. here. <laughs> your responsibility is yeah. to your wife and to your children. Mm. That's it. They are priority. Na- in fact, your wife is priority number one. Mm. Children are with you for a season, they will go. Mm. So, okay, continue from there. Yeah. Because you were, so, so you were saying... Majority of thank you. <laughs> yes. we'll, be going, <laughs> we'll be going to supporting my family yes. and, the, and the things that we want to do. Exactly. Yes. So you have to... Like, you need to be on the same page. Yeah? Yes. Like, if you're not agreeing with me, then you are against me starting a family. Mm. Then that means that you're even anti me, you know, yeah. like mm. saying that she's coming to eat your son's money yeah. means you don't want your son to also have a family. That's yeah. very selfish of you. Mm. Yeah. That's a discussion that needs to be had. Mm. And, and as I said, all cards on the table. Mm. Will you say more? Mm. Yeah. Whoever will be hurt from that discussion, whoever feels not prioritized, mm. uh, that's a same problem now. Yeah. No, because everyone has the right to feel how they feel. Yeah. <laughs> you can't control that. True. Mm. And sometimes it's a judgment. I think in the scenario that you've brought, mm. maybe they are coming from a wealthy family. I think that's mm. what many times the thought is. So you're judging this person based on their their family and the expectations that are there. Yeah. yeah. And that's the danger because they, the person is not their family. Mm. If this person is coming into this with their eyes open, mm. this young lady is coming to this with their eyes open, they can see what this guy has, mm. the the families, the standards that are there, and she's still willing to be with him. Mm. What are you, what's the problem? Mm-hmm. And and we just have to remember that we have we have time that we have to be able to figure out ourselves. Mm. Because what you have today may not be what you have tomorrow. And guys have been mm. hit. Businesses mm. fail, you lose jobs, yeah. and then suddenly what was there is not there. <laughs> so if you're looking at the money as what's keeping you there, that's a problem. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I think we're still on the topic of marriage. Mm. Is also how much ha- how much support have we been offering? Mm. How much support has she been offering? Mm-hmm. I think it's a... It's a Discussion that needs to be had as well, yeah. such that before you get into that marriage, before you get like become a couple officially, mm. you know how much has been going there, and mm. shall we continue with this? You know, mm. like don't don't get into a marriage and then realize that someone has been paying their school fees for their two siblings, mm. and, and you're just finding out. Now, you know, yeah. you're yeah. just you're finding married. out. Yeah. 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 So yeah. maybe you just sat down to discuss your investment and. I realize, wow, so mm. X amount of Allah. Money, yes, yes, yes. Are we supposed to continue with this or not? Mm. That's a discussion that I also think must be yes. strongly that mm-hmm. must from the start. Think. And yeah. I, I completely mm-hmm. agree that it also has to be a responsibility for the lady as well. Yeah, like you can't expect your husband to for you to sit him down and say, Now, because we are our family, you cannot support ABCD, yet you. We know you're <laughs> supporting ABC. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We need to come and say, now we are married, so whoever we are supporting, we have to agree as one unit that we are now supporting. Mm-hmm. And we have to have that conversation, no matter how tough it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As we wind down, I would like to ask this question. How about a scenario whereby now you, you two, uh, okay, two people intend to get married, but then the lady earns more than the man. Mm-hmm. And then maybe the man has fallen short with some amount for the dowry, and need support from the lady. Mm-hmm. 
And so the lady is forced to chip in. I mean, how does that look like? Mm-hmm. How does it look like? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, mm, I don't like the say what now? Because, I mean, it happens, by the way. Yeah. I've, I've heard of so many stories about that. <laughs> so, I think in such a case where you have been forced or you feel forced, mm-hmm. and there's something intrinsically wrong mm-hmm. with the relationship you are having, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, it has to be something that she says mm-hmm. that I am willing to help you pay this dowry, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, that's how I feel. Like, she has to be willing to help you pay that dowry. If she's not, you can negotiate with the family. <laughs> yeah, I actually <laughs> agree. Yeah, I agree. And I, I think also marriage is, is, is a big institution. It is. Mm-hmm. So don't get into it if you're not completely certain that that's what you want to do. I mean, I have a cousin of mine who I remember, and it is years ago, because now even her kids are, are, are actually like adults, I remember when she met with now her husband now, he didn't have enough money to take her. And he went to that family and he told them, I don't have enough, but the day, because I know God will bless me and I'm working hard, Mm -hmm. that I get that money, I will bring it. And they actually allowed him. And I remember we went and and they did that rush years later when their kids were big. Mm -hmm. And he went and told them, as I had committed, I have come back to keep my word. Mm -hmm. So I think there's no pressure. You're removing your own diary. Hey, hey. Because I mean, yeah. you're removing your own diary to be taken to your own family. I think yeah. even for you as a chick, if you realize much. that the guy is not able to have capacity, I think it's also important to maybe have a conversation with your family mm-hmm. and just paint a true picture. Yeah. Paint a true picture. And of course, you will not be privy to all maybe the Wazay conversations because you're a chick, but paint a true picture and find out to what extent would your family be willing to Accommodate. To accommodate, yeah. yes. Yeah. Because eh, if, 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 if primarily even your famo is not willing to accommodate, <laughs> yeah. now you, you have to How go and tomorrow your own money. Yeah. Already there, there are very many question marks. Mm. Yeah. True. So it's not as simple as that. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, it's not as simple as that. Yeah. Why? Because relationships are not the same. Mm-hmm. Expectations are not the same. You're dealing with clash of cultures. There's, there's religion, there's tradition, there's, uh, modernity that you're all these factors are all coming to play in the same place mm-hmm. and so it may not be as easy as that mm-hmm. um, but I think honest what I prefer is as you said honest conversations mm-hmm. and getting to I think we get to the point where you deal with everybody with respect yeah. but and, and honor your parents honor the traditions honor what you can be able to honor based on your your faith and what you believe mm-hmm. but up to a point you can be able to say, I, I with respect, this is between the two of us here, mm-hmm. and we'll respect as much as you possibly can. Mm-hmm. Because my experience is after you get married, by the way, it's the two of you. Mm-hmm. You know, all these other relatives <laughs> who have been there for a long time, mm-hmm. they, are, they are in the distance. Yes, yes, they're part of your life, but mm-hmm. it's the two of you to sort yourselves out. Mm-hmm. And so if you're trying to please everybody, it becomes very difficult. Mm-hmm. So treat I, I honestly believe treat your relatives with as much respect as you possibly can, mm-hmm. but you can't again do everything that is expected of you from there. And if they are reasonable people, God willing, they are reasonable, mm-hmm. then you can come to an agreement. Yeah. At some point, there are some people who are just not reasonable and you have to respect. And then at some point also live your own life. You exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. I think we've come to an end for me. What I'm taking out. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Is, and I really like that, you know, respect, but also just have, there's a place at Fika that you decide now from here on, yeah. I'm picking up. I also really like what Waidaka said is, you know, be generous, give, but also ask why. Don't mm-hmm. get caught up in just giving and then now you're also giving in your mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going with be wise in your <laughs> Just wisdom, apply wisdom everywhere. <laughs> okay. you, can, you can just be efficient and because people have certain needs, you cannot yeah. solve all problems in the world. Yeah. So help where you can, where you can afford. And doing in it, just I think pray for them. Mm-hmm. Yes. I like that. Pray for them, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I actually reiterate the same thing. Yeah. Give wisely mm-hmm. and also communication. Let's not forget communication is really, really key. Open and honest communications and yes. conversations. Actually talk. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like say, really? this is this is my position. Mm-hmm. I, I'm planning for this. I'm doing this. I expect this. So somebody is able to respond to that and hopefully we'll find some common ground. So yeah. that's me. Yeah. Okay.
Mm-hmm. And you're not everyone's hero, hey, guys. Hey, 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 hey. Until yeah. next time, goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe. Yeah. Join us yet again for the third episode. But if you forget everything else, mm-hmm. click the subscribe button oh, first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.